This is Off the Press and Plus TV Africa. And thank you for joining us. I am Benny Ark. We'll bring you the major headlines from our national dailies this morning. And we're going to reviews and analysis. And joining me on the table to do this this morning is still Dr. Bolanle Olushola Falaya. Thank you, doctor, for staying with us. And as also, as usual, we have Dr. Femi Dowu Adegoke. Thank you, Dr. Femi, for also joining on the show this morning. You're welcome. Good morning. Now, how, how, how has it been for you? Let me just ask, let's start before we go into the dailies, because majorly that is the major headlines across all the dailies. You know, yeah. coronavirus, um, the numbers are increasing. So has it been when it comes to social distancing? Now, let me start with you, Dr. Bolali. How has that been easy for you? Um, well, um, it's not very easy. Yes. We are a very social people in Nigeria. Yes. We like hugging, we like shaking hands, and we keep reminding ourselves now mm -hmm. that we need to distance, give ourselves some distance. So it's not been easy, but um, we are getting used to it gradually, I guess. Dr. Do? Yeah. yeah. That's the truth. It's not, it's not Dr. easy. Dr. Do, when last did you shake? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, don't think I, I don't think I've shaken anybody in the past two weeks now. That's, that's great. I, even at home. We're doing social distancing. I know, right? Okay, all right, let's get into the dailies this morning and see what we'll find. The first headline in the Punch newspaper, state revenue shrinks as FAC shares 581 billion naira, and ASU declares indefinite strike over EP's botched pact. Nigeria slashes crude selling price to woo buyers. Expect recession worse than 2008 global crisis. The International Monetary Fund warns. And still in the Punch, contacts. We may be heading the way of China, Italy, federal government warns. Cases rise to 40. Government orders complete border closure. We will deploy soldiers to enforce contact tracing, says the federal government. Former PPMC MD, first Nigerian to die of coronavirus. Nigeria has less than 500 ventilators per patient. Still in the punch, land grabbers allegedly kill Lagos businessmen during scuffle. First commercial gold mine construction begins in Oshun. Teacher allegedly rapes 14-year-old pupil in Ogun. And anxiety as National Assembly resumes plenary today. Kora APC wants self-declared party spokesman Nabena. And lastly, FUNAB VC denies plot to assassinate expelled student. We may be heading the way of China, Italy, the federal government wants. Should we panic about this, Dr. Adegoke? Well, I would say we should not panic, but what has been, the deed has been done, because we, we treated it with levity, I will say it again, the federal government coming out to say we might be heading the way of China, they had the opportunity to have shut our borders and airports earlier when we had the, uh, the index case. Yes. And it took three weeks for that to grow to three in number. And in the last one week now, we've grown to 40. And that, that's what bothers me personally. The, the rate of uh, infection yes. grows. But I haven't said that. We need more uh, information to the people. And the, our National Orientation Agency seems to be absent. They're not, I've not seen them doing anything. Because it is in, the, in the local palace, it is believed that it is an elite disease. Most of the people at the lower of the cadre are not informed. So, and we need to inform them that this can affect anybody. Anybody that comes in contact with this virus, mm. you are, you are you're susceptible. Okay, now, Dr. Bolali, I'm going to come to you um, based yeah. on what he said. Uh, do you think I mean, th the cases will have been prevented not to have gone into the 40 um, recorded cases as it is right now, if the government had did what it was supposed to have done earlier, like shutting our entry points, our airport, because for most of the cases we have reported, they're, they're yeah, all imported. Yeah, yeah. You know, nothing originated from within the country. Yeah. What, what do we sleep on here? Yeah, I think we should have closed our borders to at least certain countries earlier. Yes. We did not do that on time. And that um, provided the opportunity for um, people that are infected to get to the country. And I'm still surprised that um, we actually set up, um, you know, screening um, mechanisms at the airport. And these cases still manage to slip out of our fingers, including, you know, symptomatic um, cases. Yes. So I'm still concerned about how that happened and um, just about tightening our reins and being more serious and committed to what we say. And go government is finally ordered a complete shutdown of, of the borders and we have 40 confirmed cases. Yeah. Now I see people around the streets they're going around with, um, with a face mask. Are we, is, it that, is, it that, is it that bad yet? Should we all be going around wearing face masks? Well, 
I think Since we need to it's, do. It's I, I, th I think we need to do whatever we need to do. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I watched um, some news item the other day, and um, the governor of New York was saying he's going to go to the park and talk to the young people himself because they mm. believe they are not vulnerable. They believe they are invincible. So I think the earlier we start taking those precautions, the better. I, I, I'm, I'm glad when I see people wearing face masks and wearing gloves, you know, in, to, in grocery stores and all of that. So yes. I think we need to do everything we can. We, our health system is not as strong as that of other countries other like countries. the US, China, even Italy. So if they, are, if, they are, if, if they are battling and struggling at this time, can you imagine, you know, God forbid, what will happen if we have that number of cases in Nigeria? Yes. So we need to do everything we can to prevent the transmission. Do you, do you think we might get to those, to what Italy and, and China, what they, do you think we might get to, to that kind of number? Can we get to that kind of cases? I, I don't want us to get there. Okay. And I don't hope we get there. But like we're saying here now, the only way we cannot get there is to do what we need to do. What we need to do, and what we need to do is to get more information out, the right information, not fake news, yes. not make people panic. Yeah, because there's a, lot, there's, there's yeah. a whole lot of fake news being yes. spread and, and yeah. out there. The people. reason why fake news will thrive, if when the people who are saddled with the responsibility to give the right news out, I ain't giving it. One of those fake news is the, the abuse of chlorine and chlor chloroquine right now. I mean, people, we, we, yesterday, so yesterday, the, yeah. the, the reports that uh, there's um, so much of uh, chloroquine poisoning going on because people feel yeah. they can just ingest this drug and it, it prevents coronavirus. But yeah. it's, we've, we've had chloroquine doesn't necessarily prevent it. And there's still a, a clinical trial ongoing yeah. um, before they can confirm really that, you know, it can be used for the treatment of coronavirus, that's for those already who have been infected. So that's one of the fake news going out yeah. around people, farmers, pharmaceutical stores, people walking asking, can I have chlorine? And <laughs> the other day over the weekend, I, somebody behind me just came into the store like, I want chlorine, my like, okay, dude, man, what you want <laughs> yeah, to buy chlorine man. for, yeah. you know? So now let, let's, let's move ahead. Let's look at the Vanga this morning. Money laundering charge, XHOS, or your ITA doct gets 100 million naira bill. And police disperse violent protests by El Zazaki sect in Abuja. FAC shares 582 billion naira to federal government, state, and local government. Unilag asks workers to work from home. And naira devaluation to pressure banks, assets in 2020, Moody's report. And COVID-19, CJN orders courts to shut down from today. The MPA Shippers Council on lockdown. Prepare for tougher measures, says the Information Minister, Lai Mohammed. Christian Council of Nigeria says no to public gatherings. And Naira depreciates to 380.70 to the dollar. And raging coronavirus, less lockdown now, says Aisha Buhari. Nigeria records first COVID-19 death, confirms 40 fears as Bauchi governor goes into self-isolation. Atiku Son didn't attend Southwest PDP rally or your government. All land borders shut, FEC meetings suspended indefinitely. Less lockdown now, says Aisha Buhari. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need your two cents on that. Should, should we shut down the economy as it is right now? Well, the only, I, 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 in as much as I, I commend her and I uh, agree with what, most of what she says about yeah. this coronavirus, she's been the first of the first family to come out and say certain things, and they're very crucial. Yes, we should lock down. But the only challenge with locking down is, especially in Lagos, most people in Lagos, as in most um, people at the lower of the Kedah, are daily henners. How are we going to manage that? Because if, you do, if they don't work, they don't hen. And that will give rise to insecurity and crime. Mm. That is, that, that's the only fear for me. It, but but for, for coronavirus, I think we should lock down because we've missed the point where we should have locked down our borders for the corona, for the virus coming in in the first place. Mm. So, Dr. Lee, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on what the first lady did say? Yeah, I, I actually support what she said. Um, we just need to put measures in place. I mean, we should have more philanthropists rising because up. That's what I'm going to say. I mean, if we shut down, I mean, like he rightly pointed out, the people are going to suffer yeah. for this. I mean, how do we now? What, how do we, go, how do we to, leave? Yes. You know, so I put not die of hunger, so yes. not die from coronavirus. So what I was saying is that in developed countries, in the US to be specific, we've seen um, sports stars, football stars, offering to pay um, the bills of the daily earners in the space where they work. Yeah. We and, have and a few people, companies have come up to do that also. Yes, um, yeah. you know, so we have people like that um, in Nigeria. We have philanthropists, we have 
people who have made a lot of money that can support other people. I mean, if there's a social, we, we don't have that system right now, I agree. Yeah. This is not the time to start building, it's too late to start building yeah. that kind of structure. Yeah, yeah. But maybe we can actually alleviate some of the sufferings people can face when they don't go out as they should. Okay. Now, I, I think it's already going to a complete shutdown because the CJ and Aldrin all caused to shut down from yeah. today. Um, the, the Post Authority Shippers Council is on lockdown yeah. and the, the Minister of Information and Culture, Lab Mohammed, is saying we should prepare for tougher measures. And Christian Council of Nigeria also says no to public gatherings. It's, it's heading to a complete shutdown. Yeah. What could be the worst case scenario here? Well, the worst case scenario is if we don't lock down, we will not be able to control the spread. So the best is to lock down and then minimize the spread. And then let's see how it goes over time. L at least let's maybe lock down for two weeks first and see how we can curtail the spread. Because yeah. the major issue is the spread. Because in Italy, the, uh, the prime minister, I think it was a few days ago, came out to address people and he was shedding tears. Because he said they treated it with levity. He admitted that they heard it, but they were in, like, they, they turned up a nonchalant they went, attitude. They went, like, in different parts. Yes, and he, he, he's, he's boomerang to them. And now they, they, they don't even know. Now they have to bring the military on the street to tell people to stay at home. Okay. Now, now I'm concerned. I mean, to, um, our public transport system, you, you get into the boat. Many people commute. That's the, that's the cheapest means of transportation yeah. for them. Yeah. Now, you, cannot, you, you can only be sure of yourself. You can be sure of the next person sitting next to you. What should the legal government put in place beyond telling the bus conductors to wear face masks and have hand sanitizers, and which I pretty much most of those, I pretty much doubt that most of those bus drivers and conductors will, will stick to okay. that rule. What is pertinent for us to do at this point in time? That is the cheapest means of transportation. And most of those people get into those buses with people they're not sure of, they don't know, and they're coming to places like the workplace, the, and we all interact. Yeah, that, what can that, be done that about is our why, public transport that is why the now. safest um, way to prevent the spread through public committing is to tell people not to come to work. Yeah. And for the first time in history, as far as I know, that and the federal government and the state government, at least in Lagos, as yeah. civil servants can work from home. Yeah. I mean, I mean, the government has demonstrated enough, um, you know, willpower yes. to curtail the spread. So the yeah. best way of preventing people from getting infected in buses and other public transition methods is to let them stay at home. They don't have to come to work. That is the best way because, I mean, wearing gloves, you're taking change, you're exchanging. Yes. Everybody knows PEP is the lowest um, in the hierarchy of infection control. Personal protection is the, in the, uh, the lowest of, of, in the hierarchy. It's the most difficult to do. Yeah. The administrative one the government has done in telling people that they can work from home. So PEP is not so reliable. Even without COVID-19 in yeah. normal environmental health, yeah. you know, PEP is in the lowest cadre, in the lowest in the hierarchy. Oh. So administrative control is best, environmental is next, and PEP is last. Okay. And let's take a look at the nation newspaper this morning. IMF predicts global recession recovery next year. Why fuel pump price remains 140 naira by Ipman. Marketers blame shortfall and upcom to seize Ogboru's 22 account. Banks to be summoned. Alleged 500 million naira fraud. Oyoita gets 100 million naira bail. And senators worried over COVID-19 status of 35 colleagues. Fact shares 581.5 billion naira for February. And ASO begins indefinite strike. Nigeria nears lockdown as COVID-19 spreads. Um, this is more making the headlines in the national newspaper across the major dailies. It's all about COVID-19. And um, I'm just going to ask you, doctor, just put a word of caution of advice to people out there as they commute, those who are still going to work, those who are still, um, I, I heard that, as I said yesterday over the weekend, some of marketplaces are already shut down. Um, people that have been proactive in doing what they need to do. Now, you did mention earlier speaking, do you think there's enough information being passed down to the grassroots? Like um, people think the, the COVID-19 is an elitist um, infection. And so how, how much of this information is being passed down to the people in the grassroots? The, 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 my mother in the village, my grandmother in the village, my, you know, those in the village who are not privy to what exactly is going on in, in, in the city, like we are in, in, in Lagos. Um, I think um, in terms of um, media coverage, we've done a lot. I mean, there was a study I saw that counted um, the number of times COVID-19 has been mentioned in the media. It's run into billions of times. Um, but the challenge are those um, in, the, in the suburbs that yeah. don't have electricity, for example, to watch TV. They don't have um, so much exposure. Maybe it's radio that they have. So that's why we must bombard all media. 
not just the um, the the news media, but also you know um, WhatsApp messages. Yes. Not with fake news, but with you know germane good information that will help them. And of course, through we have at the local government levels information departments, and they know how they reach out to the people. We mm. have community mobilizers that do other things. That's another area where TB and COVID nineteen can work together. Okay. We have community mobilizers for TB in almost every LG in this country that can also share information on COVID nineteen. So we should share information leaflets and not only um, you know the mass media or the. Um, All right, Dr. Femi, in just thirty seconds, if you will. Well, I 100% in agreement with what she said about the community involvement with the local local government and the national orientation agency. They yeah. need to go down to the grassroots and do the as awareness campaign on this COVID-19. Okay. Dr. Bolan Leo Lushola Falaya, thank you very much for joining us on Off the Press. And also Dr. Femi Dowu Adigoke, thank you very much for joining us on the show. And that's what we can take this morning on Off the Press. Join us again same time tomorrow. This is Plus TV Africa, and I am Benny Ark. Good morning.